everybody welcome to speak with Domi. thank you so much for joining me if it's your first time here you are absolutely welcome once again this is a place and platform where we chat all things life as you can see by the title of today's video i'm going to be chatting about how it is that i graduated cum laude so now for those of you who might not know what that means it simply means to graduate with distinction and that was the line that i read at the end of my transcript last year when i got my results and it is a moment i will truly treasure for the rest of my life and uh, as i mentioned it's graduating with distinction so all it means is that in your first second and third year of study your average must be 75 percent or more and that's what it was for me um, as i was doing my bachelor of arts where i majored in psychology as well as in sociology one of the first things i needed to do and did was believe that it is attainable I mean, I had seen a few videos of people who had done this. I had seen what it, you know, I when I was reading the prospectus of the humanities department, I was realizing that, you know, this was a thing to say you graduate cum laude. And as I saw that, I'm like, this is awarded simply because it is possible so believe that it is attainable it's not for other people to achieve if that's what you want it is definitely possible and the second thing that i needed to do was to ask for help asking for help is not weakness whether it's asking for help from my lecturers or my tutors those people are put in those positions to assist you at the end of the day at varsity level nobody is going to be chasing you around trying to help you because you an adult at this point and stage in your life you must want it you must go out there seeking for the help that you need because nobody is going to need, know that you need help if you do not ask so asking it is not weakness it is actually strength so go out there and ask for the help that you need number three make sure that you still the noise I know because I shared the, you know, this goal with a few people and a lot of people came out to me to say that I'm being an overachiever or I'm trying to compensate for the fact that I didn't do as well when I was you know, in my first degree. And I needed to still all of those voices because I needed to know that it is not true. I am not trying to be an overachiever, but I know that this is something that is poss possible. It's a goal that I have set for myself. So why am I not, you know, why not be able to to attain it so still any voice that tells you you cannot do it because you definitely can do it and the fourth thing that is very very important it is important for you to find a study method that works for you and thereafter make sure that you put into you put in the work so that you can attain the goal that you have set for yourself and the reason I say this or speak about this is because it's very easy for me to come up on here and probably tell you the way that I studied but but it might not be helpful because at the end of the day we are human beings and we are all different and we all prefer to study in different ways so find the best study method for you you know google different ways in which you can do it i'm pretty sure if you check on youtube there will be a video of different ways to study try out different methods find the method that best works for you thereafter make sure you put in the work put in the effort and you're going to be on the right track to your journey of attaining the goal that you have set for yourself and thereafter another thing that was very very important for me and something that i took very seriously was time management i planned a lot of the things that i'm going to do with my time i planned it very very wisely because you know it is important to submit things on time or even before time so that I can plan out you know my time and make sure that I actually get everything submitted if you do not do this you might find yourself in a space where you're feeling overwhelmed by just you know um you know overlapping due dates where everything feels like it's due at the same time because you left it at the last minute so yes you might get away with this once or twice but don't make it a habit because then you are not putting your best effort into that piece of work like you would into a piece of work that you have enough time to do your best in so make sure that you manage your time wisely number six it is important that you attain lectures now i don't want to sound like a hypocrite and stop there because i didn't attend all of my lectures 
but it is important for you to attend the lectures of subjects that you are struggling with or content that you are struggling to grapple with or you are not able to attain knowledge of as simply as you would um, normally. And an example that I can give for me when it came to statistics, because I was quite good at maths in high school and my first and in my second year statistics module, I did not struggle with so much but in the final year when we did higher grade statistics the stats that i didn't do in high school it was a bit difficult for me to attain those and i needed to attend those lectures so i missed the first few but when i realized that i'm struggling with this content i needed to catch up with that work that i missed as quickly as possible and start attending those lectures so that i can be assisted and understand the knowledge that i needed to get into well understand the knowledge that i needed um before the exams came so make sure that you attend those lectures i think being able to hear it somebody teach it to you and then going to learn it yourself as well that is the added benefit and helps you to attain that knowledge much much better so attend those lectures of subjects you are struggling with i can't tell you to attend all your lectures i'll be being a hypocrite but if you can attend as many of them as possible it really really does help number seven participate in tutorials and make sure that you attend them the reason i am saying that is that more often than not they are actually marks for attendance as well as participation in tutorials and the worst thing that you can have happen to you is receiving a 74 percent for a certain subject and knowing that you missed a distinction by one percent so these marks the attendance as well as participation these are easy marks that you can get to ensure that you actually reach that average that you're trying to reach at the end of the day so make sure that you attend your tutorials as well as participate because those are easy marks that can contribute to you um you know attaining this goal that you have set for yourself um that being to graduate cum laude number eight make sure that you get enough rest you need it your brain needs it it's very very important rest is not a reward for working yourself to a pulp but it's something that you actually need to schedule and it is something that is necessary and it is something that is due to you so make sure that you make time to rest whether it is sleeping um you know or just taking some time out you need to rest your brain it is very very important there's no use for you you know staying up so late putting in all the work studying you know till the late hours of the night and then writing an exam in a very very tired space you are not going to be operating at your best so it is very very important that you make time to rest because rest is due to you do not think of rest as something that you only deserve if you work yourself to a pulp that is not true you are worthy of rest so make sure that you take it number nine this was a very very difficult one for me but it wasn't one that was impossible nonetheless you have to be a good team player in my second and my third year especially for women and gender studies there were group tasks that i needed to do so depending on the you know subjects that you select there might be a moment and times where you are required to participate in group work and to deliver a group project remember that and have the end goal in mind as much as you are working in a group but at the end of the day those group marks affect your individual marks and those affect your individual goals so make sure that you're a good team player pick up your slack pick up your end of the work put in the work that you need to do so and this is something that i had to do there was a moment where somebody was not putting in the effort that they needed to into the work and i needed to carry that and as much as i knew and felt that that was unfair at the end of the day i knew that it is my marks as well at the end of the day so yes it's unfair for them to benefit because i'm putting in the work but also at the same time i didn't want to have a situation where my marks are low simply because i did nothing when somebody else didn't put in their work so make sure that you're a good team player and hopefully you will get a team that that, you know puts in their work and their effort but if you don't i think be prepared to go that extra mile and put in the work so that ultimately your individual marks are not affected by the group work um or the group project
last but not least make sure that you reward the effort that you are putting in acknowledge the effort that you're putting in and the work that you're doing to attain every one of your goals and don't forget to reward yourself it doesn't have to be something big it doesn't have to be something expensive and i also remember rest is not a reward rest is a necessity but make sure that you reward yourself and you know get yourself something that you might like whether it be chocolate or you know something else as i mentioned doesn't have to be big um it can literally be anything small but acknowledge the effort that you're putting in if it means you know just sitting yourself down and saying wow Ngateko, well done for what you did here or putting in the effort here you really are doing a good job encourage yourself from time to time acknowledge the work that you're putting in and you will definitely attain the academic goals that you have set for yourself so this is how i you know graduated cum laude and i will forever be grateful to god for being on my side and i trust and believe that it is a goal that is not too far-fetched for you as well so if that's something that you want to do it is definitely attainable thank you so much for watching this video till the next one i love you so much and have yourself a fantastic whatever day of the week it is Mwah.